Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Sabrina Brito and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to place an order for your customer on Amazon using Shopee. So, if you've just started using Shopee to buy a product from Shopee to send to your customer on Amazon and are having trouble knowing how to place an order or how to enter the tracking code, welcome, because this video is for you, okay. So, in today's video I'm going to teach you step by step how to place an order here on Shopee. On Shopee for your customer and enter the tracking code and confirm. In fact, you're going to confirm your order on Amazon, you're going to say the following, look, Amazon. I just sent the order to my customer. This is using Shopee itself, okay? I'm going to leave here in the video description a complete playlist on how you can make money using Amazon, including a complete podcast with several of my students who are having great results working this way, using Shopee, to sell there on Amazon. And then there's a very good profit margin. This sales system is called Dropship. So what is Dropship? Basically, you're the intermediary between the supplier and the buyer. In short, let's go. What are you going to do? So, you're going to place your order here on Amazon, okay? And what are you going to do? What am I going to order for this customer for spices, okay? Well, with 20 rotating jars. So, what are you going to do? Generally, the customer's data will be covered here for you, as well as the order number and value. You won't be able to see that. But what you're seeing there in your order is shipping to the address, there's a phone number and the date on the left side, and on the left side of the screen, the order summary and the delivery date appear. Well, I already know it's a spice rack, so what do I have to do? Go to Shopee and look up these values. I already buy, I already know who the seller is and I'll show you how you're going to do it, because I already have a seller here at So. Let's go with the name of your product that you sold here at Shopee, the seasoning store. Well, and here, look, notice that here are some. What I'm basically selling is this piece, right? What do you have to evaluate? Pay attention to this. You who are just starting out, what do you have to evaluate? The number of sales and the number of comments, okay? So, what am I going to do? This one here, ho, has 89 sales. This one here has 109. This one is 99. It's more expensive and only has 355 sales. And it's from the state of Bahia. Mine is from which state? Minas Gerais. But this one here is 89.90. It has already had more than 8,000 sales and has a rating of 4.8. So I'm going to click on it here so we can see the sales quality, especially the reviews, delivery time, if it came, how it is with glass, if it came well, if it was damaged, if the seller took a long time to deliver. Okay, 20 jars, that's exactly it. Note the reviews here. Then everything arrived correctly, well packaged, that's what you need to see, understand? It arrived quickly, everything is okay, look, see that the reviews are there, everything is okay. So, this is a good seller for me to buy from, so what I'm going to say now, you always do this. Price is quantity here and see, it is, look, see that it is almost 5 positive stars here. So, this is a great seller for me to buy from. So, what am I going to do now? I'm going to buy on the computer, because on the computer at Jupit you also get a discount. But by the way, there is a free shipping coupon, but paying by picks, okay? So, I'm going to click here to buy. When you go and select Shopee, look, when you click on buy, you select the coupon. Well, here if you have a discount coupon, you already click on OK, right? Then you will click continue to enter the customer's data. I will change this address here and here I will edit the address. Within Shopee, you can enter up to 10 addresses, OK? Then we will get all the customer's data and each one and enter it here as if they were buying for you, OK? So, all of this, one detail. You have to enter even the customer's CPF, okay? You change the CPF, if it has your CPF there, change it for the customers. To get the customer's C, it is here below the preparation time, where there is a summary of the order. So now what am I going to do? And I will place the order for this customer. Since I will pay in installments, I will place the order. 
Look, after it is ready. Now I will pay. I will pay for this order. What are you going to do? Now you will need to inform Amazon that sent this order. How do you do it? Let's go. Look, I just placed this order. I just made this purchase and you need to notify Amazon that the order has been shipped. There are two ways to do it. I'll tell you exactly how I do it. Either I get a tracking code here on Shopee, which has already sent only two letters, or I go here to the order. In the order, you'll see that there is no tracking code yet. This code should appear by tomorrow. While it doesn't, I'll copy this order ID here. I'll go to my customer's order and confirm this order now. Look, confirm. Mine is already programmed here, as I put it. I teach this to my students. Yes, it's BR Expresso 1. Enter the name Expresso. Look, if I look here, several will appear. Look, if you don't have BR Expresso 1, then you have to enter, for example, a name that has everything to do with it. For example, 360 loss works too. But mine is already programmed BR Express 1. Then write the name Expresso. Here I put an X. Then I get this code here that I got there, which is the order code, and I confirm. Oh, it was the order. Then I go to order sent, look for this order and change the food code when it is available here, okay? And this is how you will send your order to your customer. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave my course here in the video description with its super promotion, okay? Black Friday discount. The link will be in the video description. There is support for the student. My WhatsApp will also be here in the video description, in case you have it.